Tamarian, how difficult is it on a secondary when you've got a quarterback as elusive and mobile as, as Byron Young to try to keep up with those uh, receivers? Um, you just got to have good technique because he's a, obviously a great quarterback, NFL quarterback. You got to have good technique and tight coverage. So, yeah, great technique. I mean, what's this week been like? You guys are coming off, obviously, a really emotional, draining win. Uh, it's been easy to reset this week with maybe a lesser opponent, or, or have the coaches done a good job of keeping you guys sort of locked, in, locked back in? Um, it was a good game, a good win for the team. Uh, we're moving on. We prepare the same every week, no matter who we play. So just staying focused, staying locked in on the details and on us. Coach Happel's been sort of talking really about that big, very business-like week to week. Um, is that... Do you guys recognize that he's maybe different than some other coaches in that way, that he's, that's his approach? Uh, yes, sir, I agree with that. Um, I feel like I've seen other coaches like take certain games different ways and treat them different, but this coaching staff and with this team, we treat every week the same. After every win, let's move on to the next one. Tamara, what's been some of the focus from uh, the, your Coach Banks and Coach Martinez in terms of some of the things they want to get corrected on defense? Uh, communication is a big one. Everybody being on the same page. So let's say we have a field check, just getting it all the way to the boundary, getting, across the, getting it across the board. So everybody just playing tune, play with each other. That would be about it. To me, there, was a, uh, there were a lot of defensive backs that were either out or hurt, whatever. There was a walk on that ended up playing. Just talk about how the secondary held it together in, in that situation against Alabama. Well, I mean, we trust everybody. I mean, they always talk about be ready for your opportunity. So, and we are right. He, he make plays all the time. He's been making plays since he's been here. So, we knew when he came in, we trust Will. It was nothing. It was just like practice. So, we treated it as such. Danico's gotten some reps at safety the, the last two games. Just what have you seen from him uh, in his time out there? Uh, He's been doing good. He's been communicating with me well at start, let me know what, what we in. Um, he did some good, made some good plays, good tackling, PBU. So, and Nico, he been, he been doing that since he's been here too. So, yeah, that, it wasn't a surprise. Kind of going off Vince's question earlier, uh, it can always get better, or, or was communication something that uh, kind of lacked in the back end because of all the new bodies back there on Saturday? Uh, it, just it can, it can be better. But we communicated. We feel like we communicated well. Sometimes it could have been better in the game, but overall we feel like we did well. I mean, how do you, six games into the season, you obviously starting and playing a lot. How, how much more comfortable do you feel at that star spot, and, and you feel like it's starting to become sort of second nature for you? Yeah, I agree. It's, it's very comfortable as the games, as as games we kept going. I got comfortable and more comfortable at it. Uh, I never really, I was never uncomfortable, just learning it a little bit more and like the ins and outs. So that, that'll be about it. But I was always comfortable. Um, I say going against our offense. If anything, that, that that's what made me do that right there. So, yeah. Uh, Just talk a little bit about uh, Tennessee's pass rush and how effective it's been, and how you think it's helped the secondary. Um, I tell them after every game, uh, uh, or before every game, uh, go be the reason we. I give me one today. So, and I mean they've been doing a good job. This year, too, um, the LSU game was amazing. I was in coverage for no more than three seconds. Every snap, really, they, they, they get back there. And the same for this pass game. So they've been doing a real good job against inter interrupting the pass and getting to the quarter. Walk me through those last couple of sequences. What was going through your head when Alabama was lining up for the field goal, Hendon trying to push the ball down, you all lining up for the field goal? And, and then what was your celebration on the field like? And did you enjoy the cigar afterwards? Um, when they got to the field goal, I mean, it wasn't over. We had one more play to get the ball back to our offense, so we played it. And we got it. We got the ball back for them. They did what they do, like they always do. And it was just, it was crazy. Like, I, I really can't believe that the guy still still for a minute. Like, it was crazy. I really used to dream of this kind of stuff. You know, I was, I was there, so it was good. Cigar? Oh, yeah, that was fun, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the cigar was fun, too. I'm sorry. My bad.